The greatest challenge in cabbage farming is lack of uniformity or extremely small sized cabbages. This means big losses to farmers as they cannot harvest all of their cabbages at the same time or same day and also small sized cabbages that often fetch at the lowest prices as low as 5 shillings per head not to mention the extended maturity time that means a more cost now today we are looking at my best crop calendar my name is kelvin oirimo an agricultural consultant here at famwa kenya famwa kenya is an agricultural solution center that offers farmers with realistic solutions to their daily farming challenges my request is if you are new here and you've not managed to subscribe Kindly be so. Subscribe, like, don't forget to share this with other farmers. You shall tell you that this is the only way that you can manage to help us empower and lead as many farmers as possible. Cabbages usually have four main growth stages. The seedling stage, the establishment stage, the vegetative stage, and also the most important of all, the head compaction stage. Every activity past stage matters and must be adhered to fully. The success of one stage determines the optimal growth of the subsequent stage. But most important is the variety that is select. The best variety for dry areas are Kiboko F1, Victoria F1, and also Pretoria F1. The good thing is that they will still do well in the highlands. Now, let's look at the focus on stage 1, the seedling stage, the first four weeks. Cabbage farmers always have the option of either buying seedlings or lazing their own. In case of lazing seedlings, lace them on a fertile cell and don't overcrowd them in order to have strong lifts and good cabbage seedlings. Normally, it is not advisable to sow your cabbage seeds with fertilizer as it can scorch them and they also don't need it at that point. However, you can apply some foliar fertilizers such as a shooter or easy growth starter through drenching. It is also good to add some insecticide such as a vanda for controlling the cutworms that may be in the soil. This should be done in the third week after you have laced your seedlings. Control irrigation is also paramount to prevent dumping up. Make sure that you apply little meal gold at the rate of 25 dams per 20 liters on the eve of transplanting to prevent damping up as well. Now, let's jump now to stage 2, the establishment stage, the first 30 days. The focus at this stage is normally to have all seedlings grow vigorous. Now, to achieve this, you need a lot of manure and, of course, the DAP fertilizer. You also need to control the diamond back for the DBM that may tend to infest at this early stage. Apply well to compost manure at least 4 handfuls or a 2 kg tin in a deep holes spaced at least 50 cm by 50 cm from one hole to the other. This will help with strong growth and also water retention. During transplanting, make sure that you dredge with vanda insect bed and also seed shooter. And also, Make sure that you repeat the same on the 7th, 14th, and 21st day. But now, this time with Escort, Amigad, or Emalon instead of Thunder to prevent the diamond back mold infestation, the DBM that tends to poke holes on the cabbage leaves. 14 days after transplanting, progress with DAP fertilizer at least 10 grams per plant while maintaining sufficient irrigation. Make sure that you only to brace on wet soil. At the end of the first month, all cabbages should be at least uniform in size, growing vigorously and strong without any DPM infestation. In the event that there are some cabbages which may tend to be smaller, and especially those that were gap lately or gap with lately, lipid top dressing with DAP, but this time only on those small sized cabbages alone and also make sure if it has a plant, you make sure you get. At stage 3, the vegetative stage, the focus here is to enhance that our cabbages tend to produce bigger leaves uniformly, which will compact into bigger cabbages at the later stage. You also need to prevent diamond backbooth or the DBM and aphids, which 
may tend to debian pokers and aphids tend to cause the leakling of the leaves causing poor quality cabbages. This means that we need to apply inputs with high nitrogen which will help in faster leaf growth and also phosphorus which will help in faster root development which together leads to development of a bigger leafed cabbage. NPK2323 will work well when to best 28 days after transplanting. Apply also Wuxophoria oil is a grow vegetative oil, the high N or high nitrogen combined with high P or high phosphorus along with Escort or Emaloc or Amigad on the 28th, 35th and 42nd day after sowing to prevent all control the diamond back mode and also to enhance a growth. On the 15th day, it is good to apply Pilacop or Metacop or any copper based on fungicide to prevent a black blot. It is also important to make sure that your farm is always weed free. Also, provide sufficient irrigation to avoid cases of water stress that can lead uh, to stunted growth or disuniformity in the growth of your cabbages. Now, let's focus on stage 4 the head or compaction stage. Given that now our cabbages are leafy and some of the majority have begun folding, it is at this stage that we have to enhance the compactness by applying a zebo, zinc or ponon and high potassium. Top dress with NPK triple 17 and apply zebo and high K or high potassium on the 60th day after transplanting. At this stage, the cabbages need optimal irrigation to enhance compactness. Also, at this stage, there is no need to apply any insecticides for the control of any diamond back mold, the DBM, or aphids, or any insects part of this, as there won't be any. However, if there are any, you can apply the Amigad, Escort, or Emalon to control them. Always make sure that you've added a spreader or a sticker, as some may call it on the application. Most cabbages mature in 85 to 90 days, though some can go up to 120 days. At least 90% of all the cabbages should be mature by then. Now, for the cabbage farmers, let me know the chemicals that you use and the fertilizers that you apply and when do you do so. Also, don't forget to share it on the comment section. And if you have any query, comment, also leave it at the comment section. We shall reply on all of them. Thank you for watching and let me see you on our next video on where we look at how you can manage to grow cabbage successfully from seed to harvesting. Thank you and let me see you then.